I'm Brittany Egbert from One Charming Party, and today I have Elizabeth with me. You've probably seen her adorable website, bumpsmitten.com. Yep. You focus all about baby showers and baby things. Yeah, do-it-yourself tutorials, um, baby showers, anything. Basically, it's just a lot of eye candy for baby showers, people throwing baby showers or, yeah. Love that. And I think a big part of a baby shower is definitely the favor. Yeah. Should we talk about some favors today? I think that sounds great. Okay, first we have this cute favor. Have you seen these? These are from Vintage Bake Shop, and they're a custom favor that you can get made. It has a little small cupcake mix inside. As you open the box, there's a cupcake mix and Marble. a little recipe to make your own favors. And I love how they're different colors, so. You can get them customized to the colors That's of great. your party. And that way you need a quick, already done favor. You've got it covered. Yeah, love it. But if you're more of a do-it-yourselfer, which some of us are. You got a couple <laughs> ideas for us? I do. I brought in a couple ideas. Uh, first one is the chocolate bar wrapper. It's really easy, um, but I think it's really cute. So Should we make one? Yeah, I think that would be good. Chocolate bar for you. So you can buy any chocolate bar, but I would get one with a tin foil. Um, so turn the paper around. Turn the chocolate bar around. You're going to fold over one flap, and you're going to use double-sided tape. Would you like a piece? Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. So underneath first or only on the paper? Well, I do it. I attach the paper ah, and the wrapper. Mm -hmm. That way, when you're putting in the next piece, it doesn't move. And then bring another double-sided tape on the other side. Thank you. <laughs> Sticky. And just bring it around. So I have a rule about baby shower party favors. Yes. And they either need to be edible or useful. Is that I agree. Ideal? Yes, definitely. Right. And I think it's a great way to bring in your theme for your baby shower and something for people to take home. So I have, I just printed up some quick labels for thanks. Double-sided tape. Double-sided tape. And then you're done. These are really cute. So. What about, I see you have this other paper here with a name on it. I did. I thought it would be also a good idea, I mean, especially with the holidays coming, that you could use them as place settings, and then they also get to take home the chocolate bar for a favor. And who doesn't want a little treat when they're waiting for Thanksgiving or a little Christmas party? That's true. I always like dessert first, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So cute. Or, I see you've got some of these little teeny chocolate bars. I do. You have a bigger crowd coming to your... Yeah, you know, you could just sprinkle these on the table and people can have them either during the dinner or take them home. Everybody loves chocolate. Everybody loves chocolate. Those are adorable. So that's one, yeah. Okay. Shall we talk about the next one? Yes, yeah, so this is... This is the chocolate chip cookie mix in a mason jar. So, Love yeah. this idea. Thank you. I think it's fun. You can uh, mix it up with different fabrics, ribbon, and then the label, so... Should we make one? Yeah, let's do it. So get your mason jar. And you're gonna mix in. Um, and here you do one and two three two thirds cup of flour, um, three fourths of a teaspoon of baking soda, and I believe it's a half half a cup of sugar. So if you are making a bunch of these, mm -hmm. was there a way to maybe mix up a big batch ahead, or would you just do it individually to make sure? I'm really bad with measuring, so That's I would probably do individual, but yeah, you could definitely, you know, multiply it however many. That's probably good. One more. Oh, that's right. Just a little bit in at first. Yeah, you just do a little bit in the, so you want the chocolate chips to be down at the bottom, so just, yeah. So you can see it with after you put on the fabric. Exactly, because the fabric comes down pretty far, so. Do you care if I pour these in? Please do. Yeah. See, the expert might need to. <laughs> It's a little hard with this container. And your hands would be sanitary. Of course. So I would always wash your hands before you're doing this. Chocolate chips as they go in. You don't want people to get sick off of these. Okay, so you do that, and then you put in your brown sugar, which is a half of a cup. Again. I'm going to use a spoon for this. That's good. So you're going to want to put it all in, and then you're going to want to pack it down pretty tight. I'm going to put it in, and I'm going to have you show me. How okay. You pack it down in there. I've actually never made these, I've seen them. I've never made. And do you know what these would be great for? Neighbor gifts or teacher gifts. I was actually thinking about making these for my son's teachers for Halloween. And maybe putting like a spooky label on them to thank them. 
So just use the bottom of the spoon, pack it down in all the little crevices. Sorry, it probably makes a lot of noise. Okay, so once that's done, you're gonna wanna spoon in the top. It's gonna be tight, but you want it to be tight so that it doesn't move around. That way it will stay looking cute. It stays cute, no matter what. <laughs> So this is a bit trickier. So get it all in there. Get it all in there. That's okay if you didn't get it all in there this time, but normally when you make these yeah. at home, <laughs> make sure you pack your powdered sugar in there really good and your chocolate chips so you can get it all in. Yeah. So once they get this, they're gonna need a recipe, right? To, to make it out and to make them at home. I printed them out and then I just used a three inch um, hole punch. Okay. Did it really quickly and then just attached it with double-sided tape, my favorite, onto the top of the mason jar label. So this just tells you the temperature for your oven. It does, and it also tells you what also to add. So you're going to add butter, eggs, and vanilla. Can you add so. it just all in a bowl all together and mix it up? You're going to want to mix the, um, the, those items in a separate bowl, blend it until it gets really nice and mixed, and, and then you're going to add these. So Okay, let's... Can we get it on there? Let's scrape it off. Ah, a little teeny bit. Normally you would not do this. It's a little messy. We're not going <laughs> to lie. Okay. Yeah. And then screw that on. So yours looks so pretty. How do we add just a little bit extra to it? Yeah. That's the whole point. So. Because it is the, the favor. It is. <laughs> So you're going to hide the recipe card, but that's fun for when they open it. They have that. Um, so you're going to use a nine inch circle. I used a flower pot um, to measure it. And then you use so a big plate or yeah, just a big bowl, something anything. that's about nine inches. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it covers it. Because if you, I've done it before, you've cut a small circle because it looks like it's big. It does. When you're cutting it, I mean, when, you're, when you're tracing it. And then you put it on and you've Actually, wasted your cute fabric. I did. I wasted about three when I got was doing this. But I got it, and it's so about nine some, inches. Some pinking shears just to cut around that. Yeah. It doesn't fray, and it looks so cute. It does. And Perfect. you can use any type of fabric. Um, I went for this fabric. So you went for the most adorable fabric in the world. I, I love tried. this. So I just use a rubber pan to make this. That is such a great idea. Because it's really hard to work with. I've, I usually just tie the ribbon around mm -mm. when I do fabric. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, you just use a little ribbon, and you just tie a little bow. And then you can also, you don't have to, but I made little labels. If you want them to know what you have, have in that jar. Yeah, it just makes it extra cute. So with this, you just take you just two take, inch punch, mm -hmm. punch it out. Punch it out, use double-sided tape again, and then just make sure you hide that rubber band. And then you're done. So cute. I Thank love you. that, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for coming out and showing us all these great baby shower favors and holiday or teacher gift favors. Yeah, or any type of party. You can pretty much change these up. Very versatile. Yeah, very. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Thanks.